I want to darken some of the background using some of the mid-green that I mixed earlier on. Well, I can paint the stem with that. And some of the leaves. You don't have to be too fussy with this. You can make quite an effective picture without being too neat. And I don't mind all these white bits as well. I think they add to the, the brightness or the looseness, the spontaneity of the picture. It doesn't have to be too precise. Now with a, a paler green, just added a little bit more yellow to that uh, stem colour and, and leaf colour. A few grasses. or other leaves. It doesn't really matter too much what they are. Little bits of dark. And a bit darker still. I've got a... The, the first uh, dark colour I mix, this is mostly blue really really quite dark this one. I'll put a little bit underneath the petals there and a few little bits on the leaves just here and there and some more stems. Now that's dried I want to put some darker colours in to create uh, even more depth amongst the petals and in the background. So a little more blue, just the blue on its own, not too wet, otherwise it blobs, around some of the petals, some of the white petals, and a few brush strokes up into the pale petals as well, to suggest folds and a slightly darker green on the lower part of the centre, just on the, the bottom of the centre. And that really, that's a, a little bit of shadow, that really makes it look three-dimensional. So that's quite a bit of blue in the green. Tiny little dots. Again, you don't want to have your brush too wet for this, otherwise it blobs and then it's difficult to sort out. A few more pale blue petals lower down. Now I don't want to fill it all in, I want to leave some little bits of white to keep the flower looking quite bright. Darker green, that's uh, mostly the blue, not a huge amount of water, so the paint's quite uh, thick for this and I want a few more dark leaves right up against the petals here and there. using the brush stroke in the direction that the petals are growing. A few more grasses with the same dark colour. Sometimes pressing harder, sometimes hardly pressing at all. See how fine a line you can get for these grasses. And you don't have to paint a continuous line. It could be a broken line. It doesn't have to be too neat. Just around some of those petals with the dark green. That really makes the, the petals stand out nicely.
few little darker bits. I think I'll let that dry and just put one last bit in the background. Really dark green now, plenty of blue and not a huge amount of water. Plenty of blue, a small amount of yellow. And a silhouetted daisy right up against the white one and hopefully that should really make the white one stand out. Carefully around the petals. A little bit of a stem in the background, maybe one or two background leaves as well. I think I'll have another one, a smaller one on the other side. And now that dark really makes the white stand out beautifully. I'm just going to add a final touch, a little bit of strong yellow on those two background daisies. And there we are. Practice this. The secret of this is doing these things over and over again. I would paint this at least three times and I'm sure you'll notice a really big difference the last time you paint it. Well, in the next lesson, we're going to try a different approach, painting wet in wet. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home, whenever you wish. Today's workshop is part of the Watercolour As If By Magic Beginners course. Six fantastic 20-minute workshops on DVD, now available to order from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.